As we sit here the week before the big week for the NFL, of course, when everybody's in Tampa, you have nine new coaches, ten spots in the NFL. Oakland is yet to fill its vacancy. Maybe Kansas City makes it mm -hmm. 11 new coaches, but there are a lot of new faces in new places in the 2009 season. Let's try and figure out who may have the most success next year. Jason Horwitz, Clark Judge, Ian Eagle, glad to be with you. Last edition of the End Zone here. It's the postseason edition, but really it's looking towards the preseason for next year. And guys, you've got, well, more than a quarter of the NFL to choose from. Who do you think uh, will be the most successful in his well, first year? I'm going to take year? one or two guys. I'm going to hedge here, all right? I'm going to take either Josh McDaniels in Denver or Rex Ryan in New York here in the, with the Jets um, for opposite reasons. McDaniels has a franchise quarterback. He doesn't have a defense, but he's got the AFC West wide open. I mean, they, they were 8-8 eight eight this year. They tied in terms of record, but they lost in the timebreaker. So I think he's got a great possibility if he can find someone who can play defense. Now, Rex Ryan has people who can play defense. He just doesn't have a franchise quarterback. I mean, people say, well, what happens if Brett Favre doesn't come back? I think they're better off if Brett Favre doesn't come back. Then you can find somebody. Go yeah. out and find somebody. He's got to get himself a quarterback um, who can stabilize that position, and maybe they can become the Baltimore Ravens. We'll put a little caveat into this as well because Jim Caldwell, the new head coach of the, of the Colts, has taken over a 12-win team, and the only guy who's taken over a playoff team yep. from this year. So we'll put him aside as well because – He's got Peyton Manning. Uh, I, and aside from him and, and, any, and the two guys that Clark just mentioned, who else do you like? Well, I think we also recognize we're at a time now in the NFL where fans can expect a turnaround. It's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. We saw it with Miami. We've seen it with Arizona, for that matter. We mm -hmm. saw them build towards this. And I would say Cleveland mm -hmm. has a chance with Eric Mangini. Mangini certainly had a modicum of success with the New York Jets and will now bring a different approach to Cleveland. Offensively, he's going to need some help, but there are players there. There are playmakers in Cleveland. Defensively, he will make an immediate impact with that team, and they'll be better. They'll be better this year than they were last year on that side of the ball. St. Louis, Steve Spagnola. Again, offensively, there are some pieces in place. Defensively, they have looked at the draft as a way to improve their defense. We just haven't seen the results consistently out on the field. Maybe Spagnola can bring that together. And I do think St. Louis has a ceiling there where they can rise up in the rankings in 2009. Those two teams, uh, in, in my mind, are at least on the precipice uh, of enjoying some success. Yeah, let's stay in that same division, though. What about Seattle and Jim Mora? Because he's taken over a team that Mike Holmgren has built and a team that has been a winner for half a decade. Yeah. Uh, just this year is the, is the year that they kind of had a layoff here. But Matt Hasselbeck expected to be healthy. His wide receivers, uh, assuming nothing happens in preseason, you'll have some because they didn't have any this year when the season started in, in a game at Buffalo. What about Seattle making a turnaround next year? Well, I, I think they've got a chance. But I, I don't know. For some reason, they, they look to me like a descending ball club. And, and I worry about Matt Hasselbeck. I think this may be the beginning of the end. I yeah. don't think he's finished, but you know when you have the back injury and it's, he's just not the same. I, I think they're going to have to start looking for another quarterback. And you talked about wide receivers. I, I don't know who you got a wide receiver you can count on. And, and uh, running back, I mean, you got to find yourself a big time running back. Julius Jones, he, he was good. I think he's okay. Um, but they need to kind of redefine that team. And defensively, we're terrible this year. I mean, that's not like Seattle. And this is this head coach. Now, Jim Moore is a defensive coach. We better get that straightened out. Yeah, we'll see if he can do that. He had a little bit of success in Atlanta before uh, yeah, Michael it all Vick fell too. apart there a little bit. Uh, Ian, real quickly on Tampa Bay here because this is a team, you're talking about Seattle that may be on the decline. Tampa Bay, all the parts from this Tampa Bay team from the past seven, eight years uh, are gone. You're talking about Monty Kiffin is, is, is not there. Yep. And you're talking about all these. Raheem Morris went from being a, uh, assist, assistant to a coordinator to a coach in the span of two or three weeks. <laughs> what can we expect out of the box? He was anonymous. He's right. not a guy that was on anybody's radar screen other than Tampa Bay. And then all of a sudden he began to uh, get a little uh, mileage and some interest from around the league. I don't know with Tampa Bay. I, I don't see the makings of a team that is still on an upswing. I, I see a team that this was it. Their window of opportunity was here. Gruden had lost faith in Garcia. Garcia had regained his respect with Gruden later in the season, though the mistakes were made defensively. Uh, I, I'm not sure without Kiffin what this unit brings to the table. They're, they're starting over in many, many ways. And I think he walks into a much tougher situation than some of the other guys are walking into. They've had success. And with Gruden, they had a lot of success. And they won nine games last year. 
If they win none again, I'll say today, I'd be very surprised. I don't see yeah. them as right. a uh, above 500 well, The team. problem is the other number, and that's four, as in they lost four straight, yeah. including right. the last one of the season to the Oakland Raiders, and they gave up a ton of points in that game. So that defense, once Monty yeah. Kiffin said he was going to Tennessee, essentially fell apart on the Buccaneers this season. Yep. We'll see what the coaches do next year. We'll see if Kansas City replaces Herman Edwards. Maybe that uh, is still to be determined could happen this week. We'll see who Oakland picks uh, to replace Tom Cable and everybody else. And speaking of Kiffin, Lane Kiffin, uh, who was the head coach of the Raiders earlier this year. All that's still to be determined. And, of course, it's the NFL next year. Who knows who will be in the Super Bowl? We've got the Cardinals. Who would have ever expected that this year? It's been a great season of the end zone. Clark Judge, Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horwitz. See you in 2009. Take care, folks.